pumpkin pie it's delicious and everybody loves it um, it's super easy to make and I just figured I'd run down the ingredients with you guys um, I used sugar coconut oil flour for the crust um, the spices would be cinnamon clove and ginger uh, eggs salt and I'm using coconut milk our oldest daughter is allergic to dairy so instead of regular milk I subbed out the coconut for the coconut milk and then of course, uh, for the pumpkin pie, the star ingredient is the pumpkin, and all you have to do is just add them all together and make the pumpkin. Okay, so it's not as easy as that. Um, what you have to do first to make homemade pumpkin pie is get a pie pumpkin. Not a regular pumpkin, a pie pumpkin. It'll say pie pumpkin, and just clean it really good, and then I cut it in half which this is the hard part sometimes because you got to get it. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfectly cut because uh, you're going to end up putting it in here, which I'll show you here in one minute. And if you get it good, you can put the knife in there and it'll start cutting and cracking around. Yeah, mine's not going to be the perfect shape. But it doesn't have to be as long as you can get it and then you just break it you don't have to do anything with the stem because you just break it what's on the inside now we'll scrape all this out and I reserve all of the uh, pumpkin seeds and I roast them so everybody can eat them uh, so I'm gonna scoop all this out and then I will take probably about a quarter inch of water put it in here and put the pumpkins upside down in it like this and roast them uh, I would set it for about 25 minutes, check it. You'll know that they're done when you can take a fork and it, a fork will sink through the, what is this, the rind? The skin, the rind. The yeah. skin. skin. Um, once it goes through, you know they're done. Then you just take them out and uh, I usually flip them over and put them on a plate and let them cool. Uh, once you're done that, you just scrape all the, the good pumpkin meat out and- uh, Food process it? Yeah, I put it, well, I put it in a blender. I find it's easier in a blender. I'll add the pumpkin, I'll blend it a little bit, and then I'll start adding, like I'll put the eggs in, and then I'll put the coconut milk in, and then I'll add the spices and the coconut oil and the sugar and blend it all together. And then when I'm done, I just pour it into my already baked, uh, pre-baked crust, now, or the, naked baked crust. The last video that you said it was clove, Ginger cinnamon, do you put any nutmeg in it? No, I can no. if you want. Oh, no, I was just asking. I don't bake. Yeah, no, people. it's it all depends on. I know you've perfected this recipe over years, so let's leave it the exact way you have it. <laughs> yeah, it all depends on what you like and what's you know how you usually make it. If you want to try it homemade, you never made it homemade, then you can try it this way. If not, you can add more or less spices. Okay. Let's get in the oven. Let's do it. Mommy, can I touch the inside? Okay. Are your hands clean? Huh? Are your hands clean? Are your hands clean? Alright, go clean them real quick. Alright, I need something to put the pumpkin seeds. Let's get a bowl. 